Hey, this is Craig Valentine, creator of the Perfect Day Formula, and today I wanna to help you beat procrastination. That's right, punch it in the face and kick it to the curb because procrastination is something that we all deal with. It's what I call our stupid human trick. You know, we all knew what procrastination was from college. Our, our professor said, hey, you gotta get this essay done by March 21st. And you know what we thought? We'll get it done March 20th at midnight. But if our professor said, hey, you need this done by March 14th, we somehow would have gotten it done on March 13th. We would have overcome our procrastination with a deadline in place. And so that's one of the secrets to helping you beat procrastination. Put a deadline in place for the actions you want to take, whether it's putting up your Christmas tree lights, whether it's investing money, whether it's making sure that some of your paycheck goes into your investment account, or whether it's losing weight and getting back into shape. Make sure that you have a deadline for your goals in place. That's step number one. The second step in overcoming procrastination is to make the path smoother. So if you struggle to get up and focus on your number one priority in the morning, whether it's you know writing for your book or whether it's doing a sales call for your business or it's exercising, whatever it is, it's because we have distractions and temptations and hurdles in place. But if you eliminate those things and make it easier to do the action, then it's easier for us to overcome the procrastination. So a really simple example is if you want to exercise first thing in the morning, but you wake up and you think, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Well, here's how to overcome that. Put your exercise clothes right beside the bed and then make sure that you tell somebody and get accountability and say, hey, I'm gonna exercise first thing in the morning. And that way you've made it smoother. You don't wanna disappoint somebody and you have your exercise clothes right there. It makes it easier. For me as a writer, what I do is I make sure I have an outline for my writing in the morning. I want to get up, I want to write a thousand words, and I go to it and I have an outline and it's really easy for me. And that way, I overcome my procrastination. I'm not on the internet. In fact, another way I made it easier for me to write in the morning is I made sure I didn't have the internet at home. So I get up, go to my kitchen table, and I have nothing to do but write. And so I write and then I can go to the office and that's where I have the internet. So I keep myself out of trouble and make the path smoother. Now the third way to overcome procrastination is to simply just do it. You have to get started. There's no other way. If you don't want to work out, I say to my clients, listen, just give me five minutes of warm up. That's all we're going to do. And then that five minutes turns into a 10 or 15 minute workout and we get results. And it's the same as when I'm struggling to write. Listen, just put down the first line on paper, the first word, and the next thing you know, 500 words, a thousand words have rolled out of me, but I have to get started in the first place. So that's the third step to beat procrastination, is to take action. Nothing will help you overcome it like that. So here they are, three steps to beat procrastination. Put a deadline in place, make the path smoother, and then simply take massive action. That's how you become successful. That's how you create perfect days.